All right, now in this example, we are told that our gross annual income is $36,000, which really is the same thing as saying that your monthly income is $3,000. Just divide that by 12, for that's how many months there are in a year. And we're told not to spend more than 28%, or rather that the maximum we can possibly spend is 28% of that monthly income on the mortgage, which means $840 a month. And we're also told that all together for all debt, we should not be spending more than 36% of that monthly income, which is the same thing as saying $1,080. Now, given all that, what they're asking us is, if your monthly mortgage payment is 90% of the maximum that you can afford, what is the maximum amount you should spend each month for all other debt? Okay, so they're saying that the payment we actually make, this 28% was the maximum possible. Now they're saying if the amount we actually pay is 90% of that maximum possible, how much is left over for all other debt? Well, the maximum possible payment was $840, so we need to see what 90% of that is. Again, remember whenever you use a decimal, I mean a percentage number in an equation, it needs to be a decimal number. So I'm going to take this percentage of 90% and write it as a decimal. Take two hops to the left and we get 0.9. So if I chuck that in the calculator, 0 0.9 times 840, I'm getting $756. Okay? Now that's step one. That's if we're making 90% of the maximum we can afford on our mortgage payments, that means we're paying $756 a month. Now, the total we should be paying for all debt altogether is $1,080. So to find out how much is left over for our other debts, like credit cards, etc we're just going to subtract. We paid $756 on the mortgage out of the $1,080 we should be paying altogether. So if we subtract these, 1,080 minus 756, I'm getting $324. And that's what they were asking for. What is the maximum amount you should spend each month for all other debt? So. If the maximum mortgage payment we should make is $840 and we make 90% of that payment for $756, then to make sure we don't shell out more than 36% of our monthly income each month, we just subtract to find the difference. So we should be paying $324 for all non-mortgage debt, credit cards, and so on. And that is this example.